I really uh, wanted as a young man to find a job where I wouldn't become bored, and I clearly found that. You know, my philosophy of care is really about how would I want to be treated? How would I want my family member to be treated? Uh, I pride myself in trying to do things in a very minimally invasive way. Uh, I don't ever have someone have to have their head shaved, for example. I try to use very small incisions. I try to have things be comfortable um, and not impact them. I, my mantra is I don't want patients, even if they have cancer, to look like they have cancer. My own father had a brain tumor and he was treated here at Barrow and I helped treat him and I, I learned more from that interaction than from anything else I've ever done in that I found out what scan anxiety is, about living from scan to scan, about living with uh, a patient that has a debilitation where he was, I watched him decline and I, I found out what it meant to to live with someone who is declining and I eventually he went to hospice and I visited him there every day on my way home from work and and it was a very moving and uh, challenging experience for me in my life but it changed me, it changed me as a doctor, it made me understand what patients and their families go through, what they what they mean when they say he's not moving as well as he used to and what you see today isn't what you see every day. He's kind of showing off for you in clinic, but he's really declining. And I, I realized that my little 15 or 20 minutes I spend with a patient in an office visit is just a little snapshot in time. I listen to the families, what their symptoms are, what they're going through. And I, I realize the hope that they place in us and I try to be able to fulfill those those hopes and if we're not able to do that to empathize with them and I, I really hope that that comes across that uh, that we care